Collie's fracture. It typically occurs subsequent to a fall from the standing position onto an outstretched hand with an extended wrist. Dorsal displacement of the distal radius may result in a dinophoric deformity of the injured wrist. The diagnosis is typically confirmed with plain radiography, including anterior, posterior, lateral, and oblique views. In addition to regular fracture care, it is important to assess the radial pulse and document the quality of median nerve function, such as sensation in the thumb and index fingers, and the strength of extension of the thumb. Closed reduction and cast immobilization in a neutral position is recommended for non-displaced extra fractures of the distal radius. Emergent orthopedic referral is required for patients with an open fracture, compartment syndrome, or neurovascular compromise. With that in mind, displaced fractures with neurovascular compromise require immediate closed reduction. Some of the complications that can occur with a Cully's fracture include acute carpal tunnel syndrome, malunion, which can lead to loss of motion and pain, post-traumatic osteoarthritis, and tendinous attrition, which can lead to tendon rupture.